looking for something interesting in the laboratory. Now, peanut butter and peanuts have a glow-in-the-dark function. Only when I shine blue-violet light onto the surface of the peanut butter, which in turn it exhibits brief but noticeable phosphorescence. Usually a yellow or green color is emitted. Now, peanuts, okay, looking at this chart to the far right here, absorb at 350 nanometers. This is ultraviolet light that's being absorbed and emits a delayed luminescence at peak wavelengths ranging, ranging between 440 to 460 nanometers. Now, luminescence is spontaneous emission of light by a substance, not resulting in heat. Uh, I guess you can also call that uh, cold light, which is a form of cold body radiation. Now let's focus on the peanuts. These peanuts, or the peanut butter, contains a vast gamut of phenolic compounds which do absorb in the UV range. Now when ultraviolet light, looking at this chart at the bottom, is absorbed, okay, the fluorescent chemicals become excited, giving out photons of visible light. So in essence, what's happening here, think of it as a capacitor, sort of. So the electrons are at the ground state. When the electricity is applied, what happens? The capacitor stores electrons. But in this case, it's not a capacitor. Uh, so the electrons begin at the ground state. Okay, that's off. And when I shine the light onto the surface of the peanut butter, there's a charge that takes place. So the electron goes from the ground state to the excited state. Now, while I am shining this, it's charging. When I turn it off, immediately the electrons go from the excited state and drop back down to the ground state. Thus, in turn, photons are emitted. Now, let's head to the laboratory and let me show you this interesting glow-in-the-dark property of peanut butter. Now, what I have here is the peanut butter. Now, you're wondering why I have it in the freezer. So, by freezing the peanut butter, you're going to improve the glow-in-the-dark effect, okay? So, lowering the temperature improves the fluorescent compounds, allowing the glow-in-the-dark effect to last longer when I shine the light on the surface of the peanut butter. Let's get a better look at this. I'm going to extinguish the lights and activate our blue-violet light. Let's get an even better look at this. fascinating property. It's an edible substance that glows in the dark. Now zinc sulfide powder indeed glows in the dark, but it's not edible. What if we wanted to create an edible powder that glows in the dark? Let me show you one way. Now to create our edible glow-in-the-dark powder, Let's begin by getting a mortar and pestle and some peanuts. Take the peanuts, pour them into this container, and begin to grind them up. After 
grinding the peanuts into a powder, I'm going to place some of it on an evaporation disc. I'm going to take this to the freezer and I'm going to cool it to begin further experimentation. After cooling down our edible powder, I'm going to shine this ultraviolet light onto the powder and it should luminesce. As always, thanks for watching. Sentesi, felici a piano.